Well, another episode of Jaylon's Garage. Today's featured car is a real piece of automotive exotica. It's a 1965 Alfa Romeo. Uh, this is a fascinating car. It's a Giulia SS, which Sprint Special, I think it's called. Let's meet the owner, uh, Afshin Benia. Am I saying that right? Yes. Thank you. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Good well, to thank see you for bringing this car. Absolutely. My you know, pleasure. If a car looks good in white, it looks good in any color. Because white is the color they use as sort of a test to see if the lines of the car right. appeal to people. And this is one of the most beautiful automobiles. And it's quite rare, isn't it? It is pretty rare. They, uh, I think there's a, only about 1,400 of the Julias made. And previous to that, the Giulietta had the same shape as well, right. 1,400 of those. Now, I assume it's probably what? Steel fenders, aluminum doors, is that correct? This is actually all steel. Oh, all yeah. steel. Okay. They had a few aluminum versions early on as prototypes and, and a few, um, I think maybe about 100 or so alumin, uh, aluminum ones in the Giulietta's, but the rest were steel. And this is Bertoni? Did this the, is Bertoni. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's amazing when you think of the cars that are around in 1965. And I can remember seeing one of these for $1,500 oh, yeah. and going, well, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm not paying that. Yeah. And now, of course, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. The engine is, of course, the famous uh, twin cam. What's, exactly. 1.6 liter? 1.6 liter. Okay. The earlier ones, the Giulietta's, are 1.3 liter. And what's this, about 115 horse, something like that? Uh, a little bit less. It's about um, 112 or so. Okay. It's essentially the, the, the drivetrain is the same as a uh, Giulia Sprint uh, Veloce. And it, had the, and it has the five speed. Yes. Which is, you know what's so funny? Everything, every Toyota in the world has a five speed yeah. now. But when I was a kid, when you bought a Mustang, it came with a three speed. Mm -hmm. Then you paid extra <laughs> if you wanted the four speed. Right. And then this comes along with five speeds, which was just, because that was fairly rare. Then. I remember the, the Suzuki X6 Hustler came out about the same time, and that was the first vehicle with a six-speed, which just seemed crazy. Right. You know, now it's just, you know, every car has that. But at the time, it was so far ahead of its time, and I always loved the way the gear shift sort of came out of the... Right. Every other car had it down here, and this sort of appeared to come out of the dash. Of course, it exactly. didn't. But it was so exotic-looking. And this is really the most beautiful... Uh, uh, example of, nice. of the in, of the 1.6 liter engine i mean i love the regular one but this it stands for what's sprint special sprint speciale yeah okay speciale speciale yeah, exactly yeah. special yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah very cool and the the steel wheels they never had these with wire wheels did they I don't no think. no i've seen some with wire wheels but they were i don't think they ever came with the wire wheels at the factory you know it's so funny when you look at car design from this era before computers Everything now is sort of designed on computers, so you have these angles mm -hmm. that come this way, and they're very sharp, right. and they almost look like uh, video game cars. Exactly. Whereas this, it's, everything is drawn Just by. flows. I mean, look at this. There's not a straight line anywhere on yeah. this car. This is a, That's what made me fall in love with it. Yeah, right? it's a car you want to wash. Yeah. It's like you're giving it a <laughs> bath. It's, like, oh, it's a very sexy car. It's just fantastic. I mean, let's... It was designed by an aeronautic engineer. So. Yeah. That's why it's got the... Was this wind tunnel tested or they just whatever they thought looked right was right? Actually, so it was wind tunnel tested later and the drag coefficient is incredibly low. It's 0.28. Wow. So, you know, obviously for a long time they didn't achieve 0.28 again, but... Uh, well, was... you know, we're so concerned with downforce now in right. cars because for some reason everybody thinks they have to go 200 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, it's 60 or 70, it's actually much more efficient than the cars with the wings and everything on them. For sure. Because you don't... You, you slip through the air. Yeah, yeah, you slip through the air, yeah. I mean, it, it really is. I always wonder if it would get better gas mileage than, you know, the regular sedan model or something right. because of that. Look at the front of it as well. Beautiful, delicate bumpers. It's just unbelievable. Nice louver. Oh, this, was this factory or is this an option? So this has got an interesting story behind it. Is it this is factory. But the reason they added it, it was actually an afterthought because uh, the airflow at high speed would lift the oh, wipers. Right. So okay. they added that to the oh, flexor okay. airflow. Okay. Just such a delicate car. What does it weigh? Do you know? About 2,000 pounds. Oh, wow. Which, um, you know, at the time, the reason Alpha created this, because they had the Sprint already. Mm -hmm. They created this to uh, um, race. Uh, as it was a kind of an answer to the Sprint uh, Zagato, that Zagato right. design. But um, the Zagato being all aluminum was, was a lot more competitive. 
I think this is prettier than the Zagato. Zagato to me sometimes gets a little busy. Yeah. You know, whereas this just flows. I love them both. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's a four seater car, isn't it? Not really. I mean, it looks like it is, but I well, think that's just, that's just a shelf for a uh, oh, duffel bag. No, they're not. I think you could put a, 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 a baby monkey or something, but I don't think A baby put. monkey? Really? Yeah, you drive around so. with baby no, monkeys? No, no, no. That's, that's really. A, that's, that's, well, I, you know, if you own a baby monkey, this is obviously the car you <laughs> the want. The car for you. Yeah. The car for you. Yeah, it's fantastic. Wow. Let's go around to the re rear of the vehicle. Take a look. Take a look over here. I love the rear of it. It's just on the right side of being too busy. Mm -hmm. you know? I always wonder if this was designed with the American market in mind, because these sort of have that afterburner look that, uh, exactly, you know, yeah. the jet plane design that was so popular in America at the time. Was this built for the American market? Or no, no, I think, but you're right. Um, I think those are a reflection of the fact, again, that it was designed by Franco Scaglione, who was an aeronautic engineer. So right. I think he had the same type of inspirations that you see in the 50s Americana. Uh, I mean, it's well. all, it's exactly right. Any more, one more light, one more piece of chrome, mm -hmm. and it would be Too busy. over the top. Yeah. But this is just perfect. Boy, it's so mm -hmm. nicely done. And this piece here is really uh, inspiring. Because mm -hmm. it almost, you'd say, if you just got rid of this, that would be enough, but then something would be missing. Right. You know? Exactly. Can we open the trunk and sure. see? Sure. Well, you got Not an actual trunk. trunk. Yeah, well, you, ca you carry the battery in the trunk. There's a battery, the spare, and here's the fuel filler. Oh, okay, so you need to get through the, uh, yeah. open the trunk to, uh, to put fuel in it. Very exactly. good. Yeah, so your main. Uh, storage for luggage is really the shelf in the back. And you have your California tag. Was this always a California car? It was not. I was able to find that uh, oh. plate on eBay. Oh, oh that's so, funny. Yeah. <laughs> so funny you found a piece of a sticker on eBay. That's right. what I love. You can just get whatever you want. Oh, and to me, there's, let's see, I can put the show, let's close that again. Mm -hmm. I always thought the Alpha badge was so intriguing with the cross and the snake. Yeah. And, They've the had a deal. lot of uh, interesting iterations of it, but yeah, I like yeah. this monochromatic version. Yes, very nice, very nice. Because I always remember that usually there was color in the badge, wasn't there? Yeah, um, and now today I think they've gone to back to a little bit more monochromatic. Right, right. It'll be red and green in there. Can we open the hood? Let's look at the sure. engine. I like the functional louvers. Get uh -huh. the heat out. Oh, you got a little work light there as That's well. That's right. I like the fact that the engine looks like it's been used. Yeah, I definitely drive it quite a bit. And the Weber, I like the fact that Webers are almost as big as the whole head. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. I, I know people like what the, the speaker. Speaker, fuel, correct. Fuel injection, uh -huh. but. You well, speaker didn't Webers. exist back then, but yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. The, the sound of Webers is uh, it's very unique. How many miles on it? I don't know for sure, but uh, I've, I've put quite a few miles on it. Yeah. I um, participated in a rally with it, did a lot of road trips, a lot of canyon runs. And she runs good, huh? Yeah. And it's a single master, right? Correct. Yeah, okay, because I think duels didn't come until 66. A little bit later, yes. Yeah, so, but just, uh, I've said this before on the show, but I always like this period, because this is the midpoint of the automobile. I think mm -hmm. automobiles really came in about eh, 1910. This is the 50-year mark, and now right. we're on the second 50-year, you know, so this is like dead center. That's right. It's like the last days of old technology are always better than the first days of new technology. Mm -hmm. And these are the last days of, of the carburetor and the, you know, it, it just, just this basic... Right. Design-wise, too, I think. Yeah, yeah. One of the best periods for... Oh, it is. My two favorite years for design are 32 and 1966, because mm -hmm. when... After 66, the government came in, the headlights have to be this big, you can't right. do this, you gotta have this, gotta have this, bumpers gotta be this. This is just pure design. That's what I love about it. Yeah. It's just, just a wonderful, wonderful machine. And the plastic fan, that was standard back in the day. Huh? I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, these seemed so complicated compared to a six cylinder Ford or oh, right. Chevy or something. And now they look so simple exactly. compared to what's it's, under the hood. Everything's right there. Yeah, yeah, but just beautiful, beautiful engines. I'm trying to remember, was this Vittorio Yano? Was he the designer? Do you know of this engine? Of the engine? I'm, I'm you know, I don't remember. Know. I can't yeah. remember. I don't know. Yeah. But boy, I like the fact that it's all stock, stock air cleaner. So many people are tempted to put the little right. ones on, the Webers. Yeah, in, but no. these, well, Try to keep it as stock as possible. And plus, you have a bit of a cold air package there, too, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, that's what it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. 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 Cool, yeah. cool. And once again, you got the, the light. 
Right. The, now, you turn that on in the dash, or is that supposed to come on when you open the hood? If the lights are on inside, it should come on. Oh, I over see. There. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So we can, we can turn, close it. Yeah, close it down. See, this is the kind of car you go out in your garage, you get a lawn chair, and you sit and you stare at it. Then your wife comes in and goes, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking at the car. Oh. That's basically what it is, yeah. <laughs> My wife actually loves this car. Yeah, yeah. We, we eloped in it. So. Oh, did you elope in this yes, car? Yeah. Okay, so her parents are not too happy. But <laughs> <laughs> so this is the car that took their daughter away. So exactly. There yeah. you go. So yeah. don't park this near your father-in-law's garage. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can see why. This, I mean, it's just... Oh, you know, the best design is that combination of masculine and feminine in the mm -hmm. design. It has sort of a feminine look with a sort of masculine, you know, right. it's, it's, it's just a little bit of everything. And it's just, just beautiful. Beautiful dashboard, nice gauges. Can we take it for a ride? Absolutely. Let's do it. Now, what I find fascinating, I know you're a modest guy, but you were the founder of Petrolicious, one of my favorite automotive websites. Well, thank you so much. Yes, I uh, founded that uh, just over four years ago. No, oh, I really enjoy it. I mean, you really do a nice job, and you always find people that have such passion for, for all the stuff. Yeah, uh, that's what uh, we founded it to spread the passion for great cars. And there's just so many wonderful stories all over the world to yeah. tell. And uh, that was our, our vision, to, to create a destination for inspiration as well as for people who are already inflicted with a bug like you and me. Inflicted, that's yeah, correct. Exactly, to, to come for uh, more uh, entertainment. It's funny. Well, let's put the website up again so people can see. It's a website I check out every week because like us, he likes to have new videos up every week. You know, the real key to doing these shows is having content. And I think that's what's great. You always have something I enjoy watching. This is drum brakes all around, correct? Uh, it's this in the oh, front. It is this in the front, yes. 65, huh? Yep. The Julietas had drums all around. The Julias have this oh, in okay. the front. Any Lancia? No. So I, you would love Lancia. I know, especially the, like your Aurelia. Uh, Aurelia. Oh, I love that. That thing wonderful. is so gorgeous. That is a wonderful car. Yeah. Visibility. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> can get hot in the summer. Huh? It can get hot in the summer. Yeah, it gets hot. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's fun. Got a lot of glass area. Yeah. yeah. Do you do much American stuff on your site? Uh, we we want to do more. The only reason we haven't done as much as we like is uh, we haven't been connected to that world as much. Yeah. Alfa Romeo, a popular brand in Iran back in the day? Um, not as popular as uh, the Germans and Americans. Yeah. But it was, you know, Iranians love BMWs, Mercedes, yeah. Pontiac, Chevy, you know, Ford. Yeah, right. In fact, um, when I was four years old, that was 1974, my mom came home with a brand new 74 2002 in mint green. Yeah. BMW 2002. And that's when I fell in love with cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 2002 was a great car. Yeah. I like these roads out here because these are the closest roads to Sicily that I uh -huh. found in California. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're only six miles from my garage. It's Look, fantastic. you don't see a house. No, it's beautiful. You see people testing cars yeah, and motorcycles up here. And it's great with all the greenery thanks to the rains we yeah. have. 
I got really lucky. At, this last year, I got to do the Targa uh, Florio in Sicily. Oh wow! How was that? Oh, so beautiful. What did you did you bring a car over? Or did you have a car there? I actually keep a car in Italy for doing events like that. It's a '57 uh, Giulietta Sprint Veloce oh. Lightly. Well, you really got the Alfa. Yeah, you? yeah. Do you speak <laughs> Italian? I do. Oh, yeah. that's great. There my, you go. My wife is Italian as well. Oh, like a real With, Italian. She okay. born in Italy. Yeah. yeah. Where? Milan. Wow. Place of Alpha. Wow, so you really you really got into the detail. I know, yeah. I, I don't do things halfway. That's right, wow. So she still has family there, right? Yeah. So we go there quite often. And you can pass for Italian. So I could, yeah. yeah. So a lot of people. You got the sunglasses, That's you right, gotta yeah. have that. Just go need like an espresso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before my uh, wife uh, we we met each other. She did not know anything about cars and didn't care about them. Yeah. Now she knows more than most guys. That's great. She like she'll look at a car that maybe she hasn't seen in the past, like a vintage one, and she says, "That looks like it might have been designed by Gandini or something like that." You know, and she'll be right. <laughs> we had Gandini at the garage. Oh yeah. Nice guy. Nice. We had Gandini. We had Pizzarini. Really? He came to the garage. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. You don't know who the designers are now. Yeah. You know? Exactly, because they're designed by committee and... Yeah, you know, back in the 60s, there was always a guy. Yeah, each car is designed by an yeah. individual. Boy, this handle's very nice. You just think it around corners. You yeah. Know? I It fooled me, because when I bought it, I bought it for the looks. Yeah. I didn't think that it would be a great driver's car, but it, yeah. it loves the canyons. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. Chet Baker had one of these. Oh, is that right? Yeah, him, he, was a, in a documentary about it, he said how much he loved this car. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz guys like fast cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to open for Miles Davis. Yeah. And Miles had Mura, a Mura. Yeah, I heard about that. And Ferrari, you know. Right. You know, it's so funny. Kids now don't have an idea what a light car is like. They think 3,000 pounds is a light car. I know. <laughs> you know, whereas this yeah. really is a light car. Right. And imagine that the Zagato was 300 pounds lighter. Yeah. It's all aluminum. Alvazar's had terrific gearboxes, and it's right here. Yeah. That's a, you know. Well, what a sexy car this is, isn't it? It's just the most beautiful car to look at. Fantastic to drive, very light, 2,000 pounds. I mean, that's, uh, they got Harleys that are close <laughs> to that now, you know, so that's pretty amazing. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, it was my pleasure. Yes, Jay. and check out the website, Petrolicious. They just have some just fantastic videos, and you shoot all over the world, don't you? Yeah, we have a lot of content from Europe. Yeah, and, yeah, so uh, some it's one of Japan. my favorite ways. I, I check it every week, and hopefully he checks mine every week. Oh, so course. it works out good. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Check them both out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>